this is a, like the time of year many of us will be looking back and reviewing our performance. Um, something 2022 taught me personally is is the importance of, of being consistent. And when you think about it, how can you be a consistently profitable trader if you yourself are not acting in a consistent way? And, and I kind of put it into two camps. The stuff covered by your trading plan, and you talked about your playbook for small caps, for example, the sticking to certain instruments, setups, times of day. Which this is kind of relatively easy to define and follow. But the bigger challenge in my mind is the mindset. It requires you to kind of be extremely self-aware, recognize when you're straying out of the zone. Um, you know, it's overconfidence, underconfidence, tiredness, even having too much coffee can change the way you execute. So. My question to you, apologies for the rather long preamble, how do you maintain like a grounded, consistent mindset when you're trading? So big question, while Pala is just pushing over here. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's halted, Let's, uh, but the plan was good. So that's the reason trailing over here works. So in order to become consistent, you need for me three main things. One is routine, and I will talk about these as 3R. One is retrading. One is report card. So when, I, when a trader wants to be mentored by me, the first thing is not looking into his trading, but is looking into his life. Expectation, goals, um, I would say fear, stress, everything that matters is important to trading. And trust me, trader, uh, traders, if you want to make a seven figure per year or more, or you're a small trader, you want to get to that, you know, maybe three or four figure per day, everything starts from a plan. So the first thing is you have to plan ahead what you want to achieve and you have to uh, have a routine. Routine that consists in uh, uh, lowering your stress, having a stress relief, uh, preparing um, in the morning, or if you trade like me in the afternoon, evening, for your trading day, and be repetitive. Routine means it has to be boring, repetitive, so you don't have to have like stress, you don't have to have like anxiety when you trade, you have to be simple like on your zone, in your zone. So when uh, you have a perfect environment, when you know exactly what you're going to do, when everything is planned, then you can start preparing your uh, pre-market plan or your watch list. This is the first thing. The second thing is you have to make experience. Okay, you want to be consistent. Consistent means that you have to trade a strategy that first of all works. So you have to back test it, and then you have to become good in that strategy. For example, uh, the strategy that I that I teach. But it's not that I teach my strategy. I'm consistent. Traders are consistent, and the new trader that jumps in will be right away consistent. No. It takes time. It's like if I tell you, uh, play in that basketball team, everybody is great, but you just started. Even if they tell you, they teach you how you have to play, you still need a lot of training in order to become good. And this training becomes like experience, practice, and retraining. Actually, really taking even book map, you retrade in order to become uh better in recognizing pattern faster analyzing the structure and uh reading order the flow and the third thing is having a report card so analyze what you're doing every single day and then every single week every single month see if you're actually evolving as a trader what you have to improve what you have to overcome in order to to get to the next level what you have to fix and this is a valuation that has to be totally honest with yourself. So it's you analyzing yourself. And then work with the mentor. These are, I say, the pillars for, for becoming a, a great trader and to become consistent. That's awesome. I love it. And, uh, and the first thing you yeah. said there was, you know, be consistent in other areas of your life as well. And I, I totally agree with that. And, it, you know, it looks like you as an individual are extremely consistent in other areas of your, obviously you have a fitness program and you think yeah. this kind of helps helps you like things outside of trading helping you within the trading environment yeah. the fact is that a trader generally wants to always control everything 
So the la- the more control, the more planned is your life, the less, I would say, space for error, anxiety, and stress you will have. That's the reason why when you trade, I prefer to trade a strategy with set rules, set risk, set number of shares or contract, whatever that is, because everything has to be planned. If you don't trade with a correct plan, with the correct strategy, then you're going to fail. Yep, absolutely. And I also believe it's the, you know, the skill needed to follow your plan, to sit on your hands, to be patient. It's the same skill that you need to keep grinding in the gym. It's discipline, right? And, and that's, it all ties together. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It's, uh, everything is based on, you know, your goals, your motivation, your plan, dedication. And then, of course, you, you grind up, you know, like you evolve, like you improve. And uh, this is the, the point of trading, like it never stops.